And we're live. Don't know if Joe is showing up. The invite's out. He hasn't returned my call. <laughs> so I have no idea where that where we're at with him. But the invite's out there, so he might show up during the process. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, I guess we can really, well, I guess we're limited on what we're going to talk about in that case with the uh, subject we were talking about behind the scenes, which is writing, but... Right. Yeah, so... Oh, there he is. Oh. I'm going to take you out and then put you back in. Just so Hello that he gets you to a spot. Uh, what's happening, fellas? Well, you know, I'm trying to finish this today. You Ooh. missed it. You missed the pre-hangout. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get shit together. I took a nap, so I woke up kind of late. I was saying, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, you, I asked if you were on, and I was like, no. Nah, I had to jump in the shower and shit. I was in the shower when you texted. Well, <laughs> He's got his headphones on, and I, was, I waved his attention. He's like, what do you want? <laughs> He's all full of it today. I'm like, Uncle Joey took his headphones off and he's run, rushing around here. <laughs> What's up, Eli? You gonna say hi? Hi. He, he can't see you, so you have to speak. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. That's good. Can you we hear me? We got now sponsor. Rock that. Summer Summer Rock that. You hear what he's saying? Summer What's that? Summer school? Summer school. He's saying July 5th, but it's July 7th. Oh, okay. He's he's all ready to go back to school already, and he's gone already. He just needed to connect to Uncle Joe for a minute. Yep, that's all. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> now he's going back on the back in his headphones and back on YouTube. Hey, well, that's cool. I'm glad at least he popped off them headphones to say hi to me. <laughs> so funny. Like, He's like, you streaming tonight? He asks me every time. He knows I'm streaming on what days I stream. Right, right. And uh, he asked me if I was streaming tonight. And then when I was like, yeah, of course I'm streaming tonight. He looks at Amanda and he's like, go upstairs, do rocks. <laughs> which, which, which basically means I'm going to be out of the way. And he wants Amanda upstairs out of the way too so that he can do whatever nefarious shit he's got planned. But he doesn't really have any nefarious shit planned. It's just stuff that he, didn't, he wouldn't care if anyone else was seeing anyway. So right on. Really weird. <clears throat> All right. I don't know how much that I should do in the background because I don't, don't want to take away. Wow. That really darkened up. Hmm. 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 You, I bet you didn't watch, did you? What's that? You didn't watch the last episode. I ain't had time, man. Really. Trying to get Steve down here. So Why are you gonna trying be, to do that? No. He's going to be coming down here this weekend. But Jen's going to go pick him up. Well, that should be fun. Well, yeah, he's going to be living with Jake, so... Well, I'm not going to say anything about that <laughs> at all. That's all right. I think that's the wisest course of action. I'm not going to name off my colors today because if you've watched the other eight episodes, you know what colors I'm using. Right on. Uh, yep. So, they're golden opens, and that's in the description. And that's all you need to know as far as that. Watch the other videos, you'll see what I'm using. Hmm. I thought I had more. I guess I was just using one of the bigger filberts yesterday, or yesterday, last time. Last time. There it is. It was hiding on me. 
I wrote it on a list because Jesse asked me how far I was from done, and I'm like, this is how far. You know, he's one of these. Right. So. I've been spraying the paint all week, so let's see if it's still any good. Yes, sir. Guess I'll put some music on for background. All right. I'm going to have to make up a different playlist. I've got some techno ish stuff, which I really don't listen to, but, you know, as far as background fills, it's a different Good, um... <laughs> So I'm going to see if Jake will make me a playlist again. He did that last time. <clears throat> and I just applied it. You ever use Spotify? Do I? Yeah. I, I don't because I don't really listen to much for music on my own. Like, I either watch TV or I've got a whole bunch already on my laptop or I've, I've got one of these ancient things. Oh, that's a good play. Well, yeah, I've got quite a bit on there, but when Rhonda started to keep to the cardio drumming class, and she needed music for it, so she she makes more money teaching the class than it costs for a family member to teach Spotify. So we got Spotify. Yeah, and Amanda has Spotify. Like I don't, but Amanda does. I don't listen like it's really. I'm I'm really limited in how much I listen to. I I when i'm writing i can't listen to anything except for uh like movie music or something that doesn't have words and when i'm drawing i can watch tv so i don't even bother i was uh you can make like playlists and whatnot and so and then i have it on my phone and i can play it in the car and uh i was picking up one of my boys and I turned it on, and there was a K-pop song, which I think I have two out of everything that I have. There are like two K-pop songs that I'm probably make. And the horrified look my son gave me, just, <laughs> what are you listening to? <laughs> I was like, what? It's K-pop. I'm not allowed? He's like, you're not allowed to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I changed it to different, uh, different playlists, but I'm like, now nah, it's whatever, man. But no, no. Man, it is hot here. Holy shit. Yeah, it was hot here too, but we have different different ideas of what hot means. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're talking like ninety eight real feel yeah. with one hundred and five. We're yeah. talking about like seventy three. Oh <laughs> damn! I wish it was that hot here. Okay. Well, I couldn't. I, I couldn't take how hot that is that it gets there. <clears throat> That's too hot for what I can take. Yeah, it's 69 degrees here. It's kind of cold. Yeah, well, that's just about right for me. <laughs> I like it in the 70s. I, I, in the 60s, yeah, like 73 starts getting warm for me. And if I'm outside, 73 is all right. But inside, 73 is a little stuffy and warm for me. It used to be not. It used to be completely, completely different with that. I guess I gotta make this a lot lighter because I keep forgetting the dark thing is very good.
I was just making nonsense. I'm sweating my ass off, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. AC's down and it's still 84 degrees in the house. So, yeah. It's hard to sleep with that hot. Oh, yeah, I know. Or you fall asleep and you just pass slap out. And that's usually when sleep paralysis happens. And that's always wonderful. We had a house that we rented when we first moved to Marion. Uh -huh. And we left. Like we have to stay there too long. And part of the problem was, I don't know why, I don't know why it was just that particular house, but, you know, one of the signs of sleep paralysis is that you'll think you see someone. Yeah. yeah. And that kept happening to me in that house. Like, I'd wake up and be terror, like, I'd be, like, just screaming because there's somebody looming over me. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's like, once we left that house, that kind of stuff stopped. And I was like, okay, that's just weird. But me, I always feel like there's someone on my on my chest restricting my breathing. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's not good. And it's been happening quite frequently here lately. I don't like it. <laughs> not at all. We were actually talking about that <clears throat> uh, a couple of streams ago, right? Mm -hmm. When we were off stream, yeah. <clears throat> Funny that that subject comes up. I guess is what I'm saying. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and it always sucks because you wake up and you're drained for like your day shit pretty much you know you're exhausted you can't get right then when you get right it's time for bed so you know. it sucks That just goes to show you how the human brain is amazing and terrifying all at the same time, you know? So how's y'all's week been? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I know it's the beginning of the week for y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> I'll say, kind of short so far. Ah, yeah. My week started Saturday night, so oh. this is the beginning of my weekend. Yay! It was, so Saturday, my son was doing a, he was in a demolition derby. First one he's ever been in. He's not even allowed to legally drive. Well, he can't always be in the car, but um, not out of state. But anyway, well, so his uncle has been doing this demolition derby since it started. And so we got him a car. We had to go up. We decorated the car, all this stuff. Um, of course, my son was just nervous. I'm like, what do you have to be worried about? Like, your uncle's been doing this for years. No one's ever been hurt. Uh, at least not during the actual derby. And, uh, you know, like, if you get all of your car wrecks out now inside the derby, and then maybe you won't have any more. There you go. So, uh, he was all nervous. He did pretty well. He came in third in his heat. And, uh, you know, he had fun. And then he got real sick. And we thought it was just his nerves. No nope. Uh-oh. He's been sick ever since. Holy shit. he's coming out of it now, but it's just one of those things. It's like, oh, I guess it wasn't your nerves. Mm. But You know what it was? Maybe the flu or something? Or? Oh, I don't know. No oh. idea. Well, at least he's getting better. That's a good thing. Yeah, and no one else has gotten sick, so... Right yeah, that's a good thing too. Yes, yeah, definitely. But I'm kind of jealous. I've never been in the derby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pop never been in the derby, wheel, man. I try to avoid cars when I'm driving. <laughs> uh-huh. It was a natural. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, you know, bumper cars, we're all naturals, but... Yeah. Well, it's funny, my my younger son's girlfriend, um, the day of the demolition derby was their, I don't know, it's some anniversary of theirs. I forget what month or something, I don't know. I'm a really involved father. But... uh, (laughs) (laughs) She didn't know what a demolition derby was. Hmm. That's, that's no clue. Wow. Yeah. Like, how do you not know what a demolition derby is? I mean, it's kind of in the name. Right. But, hmm. Oh, well. These kids. Right. Off my lawn. <laughs> In these days. Yeah, right. Don't start the show. We haven't left yet. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. Gibbs. All right. Huh? I'm just talking to him tonight. Well, he just popped in and said hello. Hello. He's got his own comic book that he's uh, trying to kickstart. All right. Q. Very cool. What's it about? Oh, there you go. What's it about? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I was writing something. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, talking about the guy that's in the chat, the uh, visitor. Oh, we have a visitor in our chat? He said, yeah, I have a lot of fixing to do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So well, you asked what it was about, so I, you know, yeah, yeah. we were talking about that earlier. And... Yeah. 
I'd like to check it out. He's got a log line, and it's an interesting log line, but it just doesn't promise any, you know, danger or excitement or, you know what I mean? It promises a little bit of hardship, which is interesting in its own way. You very much so. I like independent comics a lot better than big company comics anyway. No. I don't know. They seem more hungry, you know, more interesting. They like don't stick with the norm, you know. No, that seems like that looks like she's Taylor, but you know, the same light, right? Yeah. Because the lighting on him that's similar enough to look like it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, that. You know, when it dries, it's going to darken up a little bit or whatever. But... Right on. <clears throat> I tried to look for a picture of a reference of her ear. <laughs> and I, I'd searched and searched and searched before I could find any of them. Mm. Most of her pictures, that's just covered by hair. <laughs> so, you know kind of like, hmm, what should I do? I agree. He says he loves the hair. You heard? What? Yeah, I did. I'm just concentrating on not screwing this up. Oh, okay. This is, this is the point you don't really want to screw anything up. Nope. So, glaze on their faces. Uh, looks a little yeah. bit rougher than I like. I don't have a big enough brush to make it like a horse. All right. I thought it was a never, never a good segue. What's that? <laughs> so, uh oh, it was never a good segue. Nope. Well, at least you didn't hear a gurgling before you said, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Or you after. Know, that means the bubble guts. Or after. Right. Either way, mm -hmm. that's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a gurgle. It's like, uh oh. Oh, oh. oh. I've got to wet this. We can dry again. <laughs> I thought I was on top of things. Mm. Let's not have no bat symbols in the spandex, okay? Oh, speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, talked to that person. You've actually, you know, how's he doing, man? He's miserable all the time. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever seen him post a Facebook post or say anything happy. He's married, he's got kids. Mm. He apparently is doing a woodworking business and truck driving. Thing. All right. Sweet. Which you think he'd be a lot happier with, you know? Right on. But that's a you think thing. Ugh. <sighs> 
He's never really been a happy guy. No, no, he hasn't. But it's kind of sad, really. Like that's, that's all I was seeing is like everything you mentioned. Like back in the day, he was interested in writing, and he was, you know, reading, writing, cruising, doing all kinds of stuff, and. <clears throat> Now he's kind of bitter. Every time I talk to him, he's bitter about something. Mm. Like, you know, I, I wish the best for him, really, you know? Right on. Yeah, he had it kind of rough. Yeah, he did, and he's still having it rough. I guess he's got heart issues. And, uh, <clears throat> his, he had a stroke, apparently. Oh, wow. That's like, kind of good. His stroke had heart issues. His wife's on some machine right now. <laughs> Damn. What do you What do you say for him? You know what I mean? Like it's really hard to. I don't know. It's kind of really hard just leaving that bad, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I, I want to see the best for him, but. Right. I'd like to see him again, man. I owe him a couple of apologies, you know? Uh, well, he's not on Facebook. I can't get on Facebook. Ever since they hacked, hacked my account, I ain't been able to get on it. But that's all right. Well, you know, yeah, I talked to him about, you know, being on YouTube and, you know, maybe following the channel or joining the channel or whatever. Right on. And it's, it was all like, well, you didn't, you know, follow my woodworking channel on Facebook and whatever. And I'm like, I, I didn't know he had one, you know what I exactly. mean? So, yeah. How am I going to follow some shit that I don't know you got? Right, true, true. And I'm like, you know, you didn't follow my writing page on Facebook. I didn't want to bitching about it. <laughs> right, right. Facebook don't pay you if you make a certain amount of money. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That lighten him up a little bit too. Okay, I gotta let this dry so that I can touch that spot in her jaw. Right on. I think I'm gonna see if I can uh, race. Probably not the eyelashes. These are the most awesome energy drinks in the world, dude. All natural and everything, man. I'll have to take your word for it. I don't generally drink any energy drinks much. Uh, when I do, they're like Celsius because they're they sugar free. It, yeah. They call it herbal crack. <laughs> what is it? It's a Arizona energy. Oh, yeah. I will touch Arizona because of the sugar content. Right on. They would real juice. You guys ever seen Element? What? Element. L M N T. Oh, Element. Element. Their I drink mixes, have. and they have like a thousand milligrams of sodium in them. Yeah, uh, nah. I can't do that shit. It's got sodium, magnesium, potassium in it, and sugar-free. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> the fucking thousand milligrams of sodium—that's that's the deadly part for our patients. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, like, if you're working out, like, you know, and you need your electrolytes, that's, like, that's what it's for, is to help give you, it's, it's just better than Gatorade. Right. Um, and a friend of mine is a health nut. Thank you, water. <laughs> um, I was working out with him, and I got a cramp, and he gave me some. Orange, it's called orange salt, the flavor he gave me. And at first, I was like, oh, God, that, I'll take the cramp. 
Um, because it was just it's like salt water with a hint of orange. Um, and then it like it just grew on me. Like, that's one of the weird. I, now I can. I watermelon's good. Orange is good. I mean, there, there are flavors I don't like, but if you're trying to avoid getting cramps or anything, I probably highly recommend. Well, you had some heart concerns. <laughs> I do, but it's not about the sodium. In fact, I have very good sodium levels normally. Um, problem with it was I wasn't getting enough sodium. So it was like I was getting these god awful cramps. Um, you weren't getting enough sodium. Yeah, I wasn't. Literally, like I wasn't getting enough sodium. I wasn't getting enough potassium. Definitely wasn't getting enough magnesium. And, uh, you know, one of those a day, and I feel a lot better. But, yeah, it was just highly restrictive diet. And then I don't I don't use a lot of salt. That, like, I just don't, I don't use as much. as Like, my wife salts everything. God damn it. Hello. Yeah, I try not to use salt. But everything's got sodium in it, like everything except for water. Oh, I know. <clears throat> but well, I'm not trying to tell you. I'm just making a statement. Like, can't enjoy everything, anything, because everything is the same. You know, it's like I just, you know, when I would get these ad- abdominal cramps, that would, yeah, it just feel like someone was. Like my own body was trying to squeeze my testicles. It's terrible. Mm, so sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I was willing to try anything, and my friends like, you need more salt, you need more potassium, you need more magnesium, and started doing it because I was desperate for anything. Well, wow. and uh, Element works, and it tastes good. I was kind of surprised, but uh, it is definitely it's salty. Very, very salty. Yeah, salty mm. is not good for me. <clears throat> Try to stay away from that. As much mm. as I can. So, <coughs> Ooh, oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to mix a. Uh, Ray, to do that ears, the ears with. Shadow popped in. Yo! What's up? You heard? Yeah, I heard. I just. All right. Yeah, I see. I'm sorry. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I'm a fence server today. We have a idiot guy that comes in talking the N word. He's a white dude, but trying to trying to sound like he's cool or something. Right. And, uh, Like everybody's telling him that's offensive to some people, so you know, don't do it, you know. <laughs> and instead of him, you know, reading the rules and seeing that that's against the rules or whatever, he was like, nobody minds it, blah blah blah. Like, yeah, there's three people that just told you they minded it, <laughs> right? On. How, how do you figure that that's nobody minding it? Plus, the rules are, don't do it, you know? We're doing good. How are you? Hey, man, uh, Skids asked, what's the medium? Oil, acrylics? The acrylics. What I use the acrylics. I always, I'm always using uh, Golden Open. Golden Open, unlike a lot of other... All that yeah. worry about the ears, you can't really even see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
you, if you even if you saw the ear that I'm working with, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I can do right there because it's going to be covered with strands of hair, and her ear doesn't. It's really uh, all the details up in where the hair is covered <laughs> anyway. So, like, ah, yeah. I'm trying to get it, but you know. Got it enough to look like it's an ear, and uh, I'll coat that in the lighter coat in the blue in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, those blues got it. So, yeah, like I used Golden Opens, I, I said I wasn't going to get too much into that because I mentioned it in every other video, but there's a link in the description to what I used. Golden Opens, the Opens, uh, they stay wet longer as far as uh, acrylics go, so you can mix and blend them a little bit, uh, a little bit longer than others. So that's why I use them. Pretty steady. I'm pretty happy with them. This is a glaze. I'm, I take my time with stuff and just layer it. Other people can do this kind of stuff in one whack, and I just can't. So. That's just, that's not not the way that I do the work. So that's mm. another thing people should pick up on is that every artist is gonna gonna do it their own way. I can show you what my techniques are and what works for me, but that's all I can show you really. Hey, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, taking the dog out already? No, I gotta take me out. Ah. He has to go see a man about a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean you're, you're talking about the same thing that you were saying with Brett earlier? <laughs> when you left, we were like, uh oh, it's not a good segue. <laughs> and he's all like, well, you didn't hear his belly gurgle. <laughs> and so, yeah. Apparently, his belly's gurgling, right? I just had to pee. So, right, right, but the uh oh part, mm. like, could be anything. You say uh oh and, and leave. We're hoping things don't go south for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to use some uh, burnt umber. Well, I've actually mixed burnt umber with burnt sienna and then put black into it to darken it again. <clears throat> But what I'm going to do is I'm doing the trees and stuff in the background. Uh, I was going to start with the upper parts of the trees, but I guess way right. what I actually pulled the small brushes out for after I get some greens in there. I guess I'll just get some greens there. I'll give that a spritz and that'll stay good for a while. So I've got a small cup of water to rinse my brushes in and set them in there so the hairs fall out of the ferrule. <laughs> Um, I've got disposable palette paper, so I set my palette up around the edge and mix in the middle so I can rip the sheet off and throw it away when I'm done. And then I got a little water stripper to spray on them so that they're not drying while I'm working on other stuff. I do that like over a couple of days between the streams too to keep the palette workable. 
some of the stuff is still workable, some of it's not so much. We'll find out what's what. I think I mixed three little earlier than that figure. Man, yeah, that blue did not make it. <laughs> it's like an amorphous blob. Yeah, it's like I'm pushing it around, but I'm not actually doing anything with it. Yeah, that might be enough right there. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Keep up here on the bed. You need to wait a little bit. Come on. I'm going to ignore it for a little bit. <laughs> the she dog. Back in, back in the room. She's like, yeah, right, 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 right. Oh. yeah, right. You're doing me wrong, sir. She's a pain in the ass, but I love her to death. Come home from work, I bring my dinner with me or my lunch, whatever. She all up all over me. I'm like, this is my food. She ends up eating half of it anyway. Damn kids. Well, for those who are asking about the medium, uh, acrylics always dry darker than when you mix them. So, I actually kind of lucked out with this because that dried to the right color. <clears throat> this one's a little bit darker, but I'm not going to lighten it up right now. Go back to the brown. Now we have that those done. It's really weird. I'm pretty much glazing a coat over the uh, last pass, and the last pass of, I painted uh, vertical. So some of those vertical lines are coming out darker and they look more like trees. Now we'll darken up some when this dries, create some tree limbs back in there too. Watching this, the yeah, favorite, my favorites will always be, yeah, those <laughs> gouache, yeah, that thing, yeah. gouache, <laughs> it's really looking good. I, I like gouache too. Gouache is watercolor, but it's watercolor where you got can use an opaque white. Oh, right. <clears throat> so, like in regular watercolor, if you put white over something, it'll just blend with it. Okay. That's why generally watercolor leave the white out. Been the wrong part. I guess she's gonna have a little rosy spot in her cheek. <laughs> All the rest of us got that blue tone. Mm. 
Yeah, I like gouache too. I like watercolors too, but... <clears throat> um, I really like the acrylics. <clears throat> yeah. You can do a lot of stuff with acrylics that I can't do with the others, which... That's generally the driving force always, right? Oh, I'm gonna need some more super the end blue. <sighs> I guess I'm some titanium white. You ought to make like a Viking ship stinking in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on. Well, that would be have have to be something that I have room to do. Yeah. And I really don't have the room to do it, and I'm not going to try to do it to fit behind someone's head. No. And the head to take up most of it. Right on. And that's the the point to this is the portrait of the married couple. <clears throat> so, yeah, thinking shit would probably be a bad omen, huh? <laughs> yeah. Unless it was a ship of their enemies and it was on fire. Right, right. Then that would be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there. I don't think there's any real Viking heritage or whatever in here. It's just he had a character that was a Viking that he wrote, and I wanted to <clears throat> kind of put that in there. So I thought it would be a very cool wedding present, keeping in mind that. 
They didn't even know this was going to happen at the beginning. It's not something that they contracted me for or whatever. Right. <laughs> the irony is it was something that I was going to do to fill some time because I didn't have a dark enough copy. I couldn't get a dark enough copy of my yeah. drawings. Yeah. But it's a really good thing. Oh, yeah, I did now, but... Oh, um, okay. I'm in here now, so I got to well, yeah, yeah. before. And I, uh, the weekly challenge at the Dave Finch server, I've been saying mm -hmm. that I was going <clears> to <throat> do that challenge. It's uh, a cross between Captain America and the Hulk. No way. And I actually did a drawing of it last night in the line work. I just didn't, didn't do the uh, light source and shadowing and stuff like that. But Eric July is holding a contest for fan art for his ISOM. Uh -huh. Which is... Uh, He's basically a uh, Christian superhero, kind of. Okay. I assume it's a word from the Bible. Right. I'm not sure what the meaning is. I tried to look it up one time. I don't remember if I actually found it, but this character is a guy with a cross on his belt, like a crucifix. Right where his uniform meets, right about his trouser level. All right. <clears throat> but he uh, fights. Looks like he fights all kinds of monsters. I ordered the first one, but it has, I ordered it just a couple of days ago. So he's trying to uh, got a campaign for his next one. Like his campaign for the first one. Made him uh, three million. What? Right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and oh. uh, this one's already up to one point five. But his contest mm -hmm. is like for fan art. First, second, and third place get the complete. Uh, perks and whatever for the next comic book but also they get uh like the first place gets a thousand dollars and a, a contract for either twenty three thousand dollars to do some inside artwork or another contract to do uh posters yeah, all right so I thought, you know, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I think man. maybe that would be the next live stream while I'm waiting on uh, my Cthulhu client to let me know if he wants to do Cthulhu or he wants to do uh, something else in the interim. Like, this was something I wanted to do to break up the monotony of doing Cthulhu all the time. A little bit of water, and this becomes an eraser. As long as the underneath dry, you should be able to see the underneath when you lift it. Also, if the underneath is not very well dry, you'll lift more than you intend to.
It's really weird and cool, but <clears throat> this is uh, this darker blue on here, right here. Yeah. Well, I was talking to Joe, I told you earlier, that's a wave. But it's a wave that's built off of a, a I think it's, it's like on a beach, so it's darker because of that, and there's just a little bit of darkness there because of the wave. Right. Before this picture, though, I've never seen something like that so that I've noticed it like that. <laughs> so I'm darkening this up a little bit. A little bit more blue, and now I'm going to mix a tiny, tiny bit of yellow and white in there. Because I don't really want green, but I do want a kind of greenish tint. You get that danger when you mix blue and yellow together of getting a strong green, but the more you add a little bit of white and a little bit of black will gray it out a little bit, so it changes that. No way. And we'll get kind of a <clears throat> kind of gray, grayed out uh, cream color. Mm -hmm. And I got to do that because this side actually, it's like stops at his head and changes. Almost disconcerting. <laughs> kind of like the Mona Lisa, it's different on both sides. Right. You ever notice that? The land on the behind her head is at two different levels. Yeah. I'm thinking I know why now. <laughs>
Mixed up so much of this color, and now I have a almost enough to have a half a tube. <laughs> it's all caked up on the brush. It's still not wide enough. It's a really super color. Since I know that's going to dry darker, I'm mixing and mixing and mixing to get that lighter when the one I dry. Such a heavy, soupy color, though. Like I've got a really thick glob on the brush. I mean, I'm intending to. Shit. 
Let me take care of it, dude. He's starting to whine. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on. Hey, Well, I'm getting paint all over myself. That's not good. Especially when I'm not intending it. That was the other thing I enjoy about acrylics. <laughs> you can get paint all over yourself, you can spray yourself with and wipe it off. That's always nice. Hmm? That's always nice. Hmm. Oils are way different. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love oils except for <clears throat> they they take so long to dry and they're poisonous, so they have their own drawbacks as well. Well, don't drink them. Well, it's not the drinking them, it's the breathing them. Yeah, I know. Um, so, when I say that, like, I'm sure you do because we've talked and I know you know your way around paint. Uh, it's for the benefit of people that are watching that may not know. Right. Well, yeah, oils, that's the reason I actually, one of the reasons that I uh, am choosing this medium over any of the other mediums is because oils, they do use turps, you use, uh, oils are poisonous to breathe after a while, but turps are way more poisonous to breathe, and that's, most of your mediums either are turps or, or uh, mineral spirits, and there are some odorless mineral spirits, but that really not, doesn't guarantee that it equates to the same thing. 
Let's see if I can win. Like last time, remember, I used mostly that big <laughs> silver. And I think I'm going to attempt to use this uh, angle brush for quite a bit. It's the best of the flats and the best of the ability to use just a tip. Yeah, I know, that's what she said. <laughs> For those that don't know, that's not actually white. It's just a very white value. I think you're gonna have to pick up some speed. That's not what the plan was.
values to okay.
Funny, like I tried to smooth her face out. She was looking really kind of rough, and it darkened her face up. Hoping when it dries, it'll be a little bit different because it's thinner. But you know how that is. Mm. I intended for her to have a paler face anyway, but. them to look like they're in the same amount of light. I'm back. Uh, Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Coming in like El Negro. a bigger shit than she is, man. I don't know what the hell she's been eating. Well, my food, of course. I didn't think she had that in her. <coughs> Your food? What's that? <laughs> I was being facetious. You said, I didn't think she had that in there. I said, Your food? Oh, I knew it was in there, but I didn't think it would all come out at once. <laughs> yes, this is the channel where we talk about shit. Yes, yes, yes. Poop is the eternal funny subject. Yes, it is. Poop and farts never grow old. That shit's oh, always old. Well, farts are ghost poop, so. <laughs> well, yeah, they. You know my farts smell, right? So deaf people can enjoy them too. 
Now I'm gonna be wired for sound till fucking five o'clock this morning. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, after I get off here, Steve wants me to get out on the Xbox. Oh, are you gonna be on the game tonight? Yes, Steve. I will be there, Steve. Nope. Not tonight. Yeah, right. Yeah. I can just hear it. Oh, come on, man. Come on. You'll be here in a couple of days, man. I want to enjoy my peace before you get here. I feel sorry for Jake. This is who I feel sorry for. <laughs> if you be like, hey, Jake. How you doing, Jake? Hey, Jake. Run to the store and give me a pack of cigarettes. Hey, Jake, could you run to the store and grab me some beer? Hey, Jake, let's play this. Oh, you're going to play Magic? Oh, don't be a pussy. Come on, man. <laughs> and that's when my phone will ring. Hey, Joe, get on the game. I'm lonely. Go find a friend. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, man. His yeah. turn to walk the dog. We're playing co-host roulette. All right. In the chamber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Dang it. Oh. Look at my bald head. Bald burgers. There we go. I don't have a shadow <laughs> over my face. You can see my splendor. Then the chat lights up. Put it back, turn it back around. <laughs> you should be in the shadows. So hard to gauge what will be in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Has Joe been on lately? Well, uh, he was on when you weren't. Oh, all right. Well, I guess two Joes are too many, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> You damn child. What's that? Nah, I made a weird noise and I was like, you don't say.
được bên em mấy nhà nó ổn định rồi So weird what colors chose to survive this weight between your strength. Mm. <clears throat> And what colors didn't? What was Kid says, well I best be going. Gotta eat dinner. Thanks for the stream. Hey, take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping in. Right on, right on. Enjoy your meal. <coughs> Dinner. Turn the hat back around. What? I don't know. I had to turn my hat back around. It felt funny. I'm not used to wearing a hat backwards anymore. I'm too old for that. I So, like, if I took a bunch of old, like, rock tracks and played them on a kazoo, uh. would you still get in trouble for that? Depends on the uh, band, probably. Wow. Well, all right. <laughs> yeah, and whether it's in the public domain. Nah, uh, I don't know. Take old bands like Budgie, and, you know, not very, you know, well known bands. Throw together a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Real question is do you think that they would sue if they heard you and not credited or whatever? Right. <clears throat> I didn't say I was going to do a good job with it. I'd play it real awful, you know.
Ah, oh, you're putting in the happy little trees, huh? Yeah, a couple of them. I'm putting in the, the lime work form. Yeah. But some of that will be painted out. Right. I just have to have something. There to be painted out, painted over. I'm gonna request you do painting like right around when you don't have anything lined up. I want you to paint the legend of creeping tree. There's a blast from your task, huh? I don't even know if I remember it. Mm. Oh, back when you wore your Sebastian suit when you rode on that typewriter. Type that That's just leave it to you to choose the obscure ones. Well, you know. <laughs> That's me. I am actually your one, so no, I actually yeah, I think I may even have something. <laughs> I just started the other day kind of a demon tree. That's good. In a watercolor sketchbook. Very moody. Well I might just finish that for you. Was a story he wrote a long time ago. So long ago, I don't even remember the story. I remember what inspired it. That big willow tree we had uh, down that path. It was huge and kind of creepy looking. It was nice. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's indeed. I miss those days when we run around in the yeah. woods doing our own thing. Man. Right? <clears throat> you remember when we watched that badger in that uh, Wolverine fight on the railroad tracks? <laughs> that I was remember when you walked in between them because well, I, I was actually not caught up with him. <laughs> That's because I'm flying stupid. the other way. Because <laughs> I wasn't a very smart child. Well, you were smart enough to run the other way. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. I was stupid enough to get that close in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the child part, though, you yeah. know? Right, right. Just curious. But, yeah. Elbows and assholes is all you saw. <laughs> now I'm mixing brown and green. That off green that I made. Yeah, yeah. Guess I'm missing mixing a little bit more of that off green that I made too.
Bien, no, 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 no.
banget See, now looking at this picture and the way they're both smiling like they are, I can see like a burning village in the background. Oh. <laughs> family that slays together stays together What? I was talking to the dog. She just jumped on my bed. She all sprawled out like, yeah, you better find something. How sad something. is that? <laughs> huh? How sad is that? I don't know. That's what we got to talk to. What I do, man. She's my company most of the time.
Thank you. Thank you. Anything exciting happen? What's nope. that? <laughs> well, I said, did anything exciting happen? No. Or anything not boring? In my life? <laughs> well, you know, exciting doesn't mean good. <laughs> well, it's just it's not boring. Can be exciting. No. It's not good. But it's not, it's yeah. Good. Yeah, I had an idiot almost hit me up on bike today. I was riding down the street, you know, in the bike lane, going with traffic. We tried to run, run a red light or stop sign, excuse me. And saw me at the last minute and slammed down those brakes. That got the old heart going. I got to work and I was wide awake this morning. All right? Could have been so much worse, I guess. <laughs> Well, 
How about you, Rich? Anything exciting in your life? I walked a lot today. Two. Very two. Uh, I'm again. That's like the third time since I woke up from a coma. Uh huh. All right. Well, hey, that's a plus. Well, yeah. I mean. Oh, hey, I've been looking at uh, e-bikes for you, dude. I found a really nice one. And it's like $1,100. But it's got good specs on it, man. Long battery life, good distance, good speed. It goes 30 like mine. Yeah, I just have to get up to $1,000 to be able to extend first. Sure that. Maybe if I win that contest. Yeah, man. Well, they're making them uh, less. Or, or you know, maybe maybe if I have someone actually commission me again, you know. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, I keep looking out because I'm always looking, anyways. So. Right. I keep being informed of what I find. I would like to get a couple more, you know, just to have variety. But I would like to have money too, so you know. Right. Like yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> one day, one day. The money thing is a big thing. I know. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. The water looks good. Can we, I don't know what you guys can see, so. It looks pretty good, man. Come down closer. I like it. It's so weird when I'm. Up at a certain level. <laughs> right on. Picks it up no problem. Looks good. Very good, man. <laughs> There's some irony in it that the Vikings believe ghosts were blue. All right. Why blue? Uh, believe it or not, because of the cold. Well, that kind of makes because, sense. I guess. Because hell there was a frozen wasteland. So, if you're a ghost or you're a jogger, you have no warmth in your body because it's all gone. You know, all your spirit and warmth and fire is gone. Right on. Also, the witches of that culture were said to wear blue, too. And that's the same thing. It's to represent death, but... Well, blue is the color, color of death. Yeah, yeah. Cheery note for you. Oh, boy. 
gonna go back to the grave. Do a little bit in the helmet. And I think I'm gonna keep them mostly simple like that. But uh, I'll maybe show, put a few dings in them. Actually, I don't think I'm all that far from going. It's a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me see my checklist. Pass uh -huh. on the water in the background. Done. Found in here. Glazed <laughs> <laughs> blue. Gray and color. Got the sneezes tonight, huh? I guess so, man. I'm having many sneezes. Yeah, well, I'm not taking it as God wants you to live. I got a doctor that told me every time you sneeze, it kickstarts your heart. All right. We can't see that. <laughs> of course. That's because I zoomed in so that you can see a little better. Oh. You're basically just stippling some dark gray. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to do that. I didn't want to say nothing, really. Well, that's your job to say something when I don't see what's going on. Well, I mean... I figured okay, you can't had see it. you're off the camera again. <laughs> I figured you had it in the back of your mind. Well, I never can tell what the camera is doing unless I'm looking at it, and I'm I'm not looking at it while I'm doing this. Right on. Hold on.
Yeah. So by stabbing the forward down, I'm actually doing it real gentle, but that creates more furry texture like that, soft furry texture. Well. And when I tap my finger on it, all it does is just kind of dull it down a little bit. Right, right. Because I don't want it prominent, but it looks like fur now, right? Yeah. Well, it does to me. It does to me, too. I'm nodding loudly. So. <laughs> Forgot that you can't see the camera, so. Yes. Right, uh, even though I just literally said that. <laughs> I know, and I'm like, nodding along, and I'm like, oh, yeah, hey. Just talked about this. I'll be <laughs> nodding. You can nod, I'll be like, keep nodding. Nodding. You can hear the rocks moving. All right. <laughs> Joe's all like, keep nodding, 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 nodding. <laughs> He's nodding in approval. Now, see, you can parody songs. All right. Because that's a parody. <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty good at that. Although it's not very family friendly. Yeah, I do that too. Parody songs like that. Yeah. All the time because I play with Eli. Kind of mess with his head a little bit. Right on. So normally, like, if he says cuz, I'm like, cuz my ass, right? And that's not yeah. an answer, cuz my ass. Today he goes, he, he's wanting, he's trying to rush me to go, and he grabs my hat, and I'm like, what do you have my hat for? And he's like, cuz, cuz my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he just went straight into my part. <laughs> he cracks me up when he goes that shit. It, it's so weird that he's the age he is and we're super impressed when he gets something, you know? Right. Like, something that we, if anyone else, we wouldn't be impressed. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> right. Well, because it's him. Where's the video? Oh, well. Okay. I'm not on a, on a weeknight. Right on. What's that? I don't have a cutoff time. Makes so, sense. No, no, no. Yeah, thanks, thanks for showing up and hanging out. I didn't. Yeah. Right. Talk to you later. I have a great night, man. And then there were two. That's Hopefully me. Some other people will watch, but. Pretty close. Right on. Like really I'm trying to get this done done, you know? I can't move on to the next project until this is done. I had to turn this over because for some reason this filbert doesn't want to do the round spots that it should the other way. Right on.
Oh, it's just looking at something. It's a metal microphone. Free. It's a free gift. Was that battle things? Yep. Very true. If they turn out right, they will be. Right. Nothing good going on. What's that? Nothing good going on. Not really. I mean, nothing bad's going on either, so I can't complain. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. You weren't talking to me, so I didn't know if you were going to show up or... Oh, no. I just... I had to take a nap when I got home from work. So I am tired.
Yeah. I'm just. Steve. Huh? I said Steve. <laughs> well, you know. That's my brother. How's the man they've been doing with me? She's trying. She doesn't know how to do it. Oh, wait. She's got a condition that affects her own. Not wishing to be too inconsiderate. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Get mm -hmm. too, I don't know how well she would take me just talking about it, you know? Right, right. No, I would just. Like, no, no, like I'm just saying, if one we're off screen, then that's a totally different thing. Right on. I dig it. I can dig it, man. Yeah, it looks like some battle damage going on there. My checklist. That didn't actually include battle dings in the helmets, but I like them. It looks good. I like the way it turned out, man. Yeah. Okay. Highlights on the male shirt. Yeah. yeah. I guess actually that would be the collar too, so. Right. But, well, I mean, here. Well, here actually. Uh huh. Because that's, uh, anywhere there's an outline left and then, then there's white supposed to be hitting. And I moved the white source from this side to in the middle. Yeah. So that the faces would be right. Right on. So now I need to highlight this side of her hair, a little bit of highlight on his this side of the hair, and then make the helmet match. Okay. But before I can do the hair and all that, <clears throat> I've got to do the fur and the um, Male. 
Right on. Because now that the water's done, I don't have to worry about what I'm doing with the water and all that. True. Mm -hmm. That's the real trick is you, you should be painting from front to back. All right. From, from back to front. Sorry about that. Like you you should be painting from the furthest back to the next stage closer to the next stage closer. So you do that one pass with pretty much everything. Then you come up to the foreground. Okay. And that's kind of where I am now, because the trees are done, the sky is done, the water is done. Now it's the... Last stages of the... Them. Well, what they're wearing and then them. Right, right. Well, I was including it all together. I know, but I don't want to be, I don't want there to be any confusion when I refer to something, you know? Right, right. Okay, I got you. And it's always not, it's not for you, because I don't think you don't know what, I, what I'm doing, because you've been watching this the whole time. Right on. It's, it's uh, more for those that either haven't been watching it the whole time, Right. Or uh, are new to the concept. Right. Okay. Sometimes I forget. Yeah, sometimes I do too, which is why I'm, you know, kind of saying what I'm saying. It's because I'm also reminding myself as I remind you that I have to talk a little bit more because <laughs> there are other people that won't know what I'm doing conceptually until... I literally out and out explain it. Right on. I can dig it. Hmm. Hmm. Mix that cream color with a very light cream color. This is really dry brushing. Uh huh. Just not drying quick enough for me.
What I'm doing is soften the edges. All right. To make it look like it's fur, so. You got to bring the picture up a little bit. You're down in the no man's land. There you go. Yay. Really just trying to soften the hard edges by making it look like that fur kind of dripping over while reaching over. Well, you're doing a good job. It's working. Definitely working. I look like fur? Yeah, man. Sure does. Yep, that's a success, man. I don't care about too much okay. as, as we get to the bottom. Right. It's not important. What's important is up top, so. Yeah, yeah. I got you.
This is the theory of, of the wings. <clears throat> I'll lay yeah. everything out in the wings, remember? Yeah. It's a little bit of darkening. Mm -hmm.
Bixby, what? Talk on my phone. Hey, Bixby, take your screen share. Or don't. One of these days, I'll get used to you saying, "Hey, Bixby," because hmm. we don't use a Bixby program. Bixby program. All uh, right. <clears throat> You say Bixby and my brain is like Bill Bixby? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go grab a cigarette real quick, man. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I shall return.
waiting for stuff to dry. Nothing quite as exciting as watching paint dry.
I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I didn't run away, I promise. Dog the savage, you wanna follow me out? Go of course I did. <laughs> yeah. That's a dog thing to do. Now, is she a Valkyrie? Uh, she could be. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I, I'm making it better or not right now. <laughs> the irony is the color I mixed up. It's not blue. <laughs> That's not a blue tone. That's actually a grayish red tone. It is the way it is because it's layered.
Right. I find that pretty ironic that it's not the color it appears to be. Right on. But it's the color that it is because I actually built it to be that color. That looks much better, do you think? Yeah, it does. I, uh, I had to come back into the face because, <clears throat> first of all, this is drawing. Because I had to paint over it. I was not liking where it was going. Matter of fact, I don't think it... Looking at what I put there before, I don't think it needs a whole lot in, in the uh, form that I did. It just needs a, an edge to be light. And I started going way into detailing stuff that wasn't necessarily wasn't necessary to detail. So and I erased actually a little bit of paint off of here right. of the first layer, which is why I went over it with brown again. Honestly, I think I'm going to call it and then add the little details later. I was I was determined to finish it, but that setback right there did me in because now my eyes are starting to go oh, I've been, you know, goofy or whatever. I'm very happy with her face now. I'm very happy with his face now. They're not perfectly even, but they're enough matched up to look, you know, like he's not super dark and her super light. They are very close to the same tone. He's a little bit darker. <clears throat> I really want to do... Well, I suppose I could do her hair and her helmet. The only thing I couldn't do would be him. Mm. Because I can't get the nail done. Before. I have to do... Well, I guess I don't have to do the nail before I do the... His hair and his helmet. Hmm. Just trying to do the right steps and stages, right? So, right. Maybe it'll add up to a short stream. You know what I mean? Right on. This is three hours now. I'm, I'm really digging out. It's looking all the background is done. She's mostly done. Just a highlight on her hair and enough on her helmet to look like the light source is coming from that direction. I have to do a little bit of work on the fur on him, just like I did on her, but only right. with a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of cream color to show that the white's hitting it right there. I'm going to do a darker cream color on the back of his hair to match hers. And this side of the fur a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna lower this down and focus in on it so that slide it up just a little bit. What's that? Slide the picture up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm moving stuff around so that. All the non essentials aren't in it, you know what I mean? Yes. I gotta be careful not to knock this paint water over, too. You know? All right. 
Command the there. Click like, click like and subscribe. And as always, God bless. We love you. Love, peace, chicken grease, and all that good stuff. We'll catch you next time.